Hi, my name is Taja. I'm a dark skinned black woman with long black braids and gold earrings with a cream hoodie. Hi, my name's Amy. I'm a mixed woman. Um, I have dark brown curly hair that's pulled up um, into a high pony. Um, I have gold hoops and a white jumper with some uh, black writing over the left hand side. Um, me and Taja are currently sat in the main house at the Birmingham Hippodrome Theatre. Um, we're in amongst a sea of deep red velvet chairs in the stalls of the theatre. I would define a person from Birmingham as someone who has huge amounts of humility. Fantastic sense of humour, because let's be real, we're always the butt of the joke. <laughs> Um, someone who is, um, generally speaking, is kind, super open, what you see is what you get. I do feel like a bit of a patriot for Brummy. you're probably the same, and yeah. <laughs> like, Representing everywhere yeah. we go. After somebody lays eyes on you, the next thing they will hear is your voice, so they'll be like, Birmingham. Or they won't, they won't say it like that, but you'll be talking and then it might come up in conversation. They were like, I thought so. You were like, yeah, well, yeah, you can tell like how broad the accent is. So yeah, you do feel like you are an advocate for the city everywhere you go. What I love about Birmingham is how diverse it is. Um, as a black woman, you can be stared at a lot in, in different cities, even though we've been here a while. Um, <laughs> It's crazy, but I don't feel that way in Birmingham. There's so, so many different places I can go in Birmingham, like uh, Soho Road, Digbeth, um, all these other places and just feel fine. Even like if I went to Sunny Hollow, I wouldn't feel the type of way. But I just think that's what I love about Birmingham. I love how not just diverse as people we are, but the scenes. We mm. do have a lot of different types of scenes here, which is very expressive. You could go to a different town and it could almost feel like a completely different place, but you still in Birmingham. Like I could go somewhere and go, oh yeah, I know I'm in Erdington, for example. Mm. Or you go somewhere else and go, yeah, yeah, now I know I'm in Aston or, you know, that, that kind of thing. So I like how, I guess it's how unique each town is that surrounds Birmingham, but ultimately it all feels Birmingham. Birmingham has a great restaurant scene. Definitely. So we take full advantage of yeah. that. <laughs> that. And I think that totally links into as well, the city being so diverse. Oh my gosh, the food. You could, it's like, think of a culture. There's food here. And it's not just like, oh yeah, there's food. No, it's like, there's food. I think one of the challenges of living in Birmingham is actually the travel and travel links. There are buses, we have the tram. They are extending the tram now, which is great. great. But I still, considering the size of Birmingham, I don't think it's sufficient. I really don't. And I've always said, unless you have a car or you have access to it, I think it could be quite difficult to navigate around. There should be multiple tram lines, night buses and trains uh, going on for longer as well. What's it like working as an actor in Birmingham, in the West Midlands? It has its challenges massively. Opportunity is the biggest thing. There's not as much opportunity here as there is in London, for example. A lot of people either um, create their own work, which I know a lot of people have done, um, to bring their own opportunities to them and to people around them. Or, and which is the sad thing, is they move out of the city. So I think a way in which we could make the arts, the arts scene better here in um, Birmingham were, was if we were able to have infrastructure that not only um, trains um, homegrown talent, but also then, um, but also professional infrastructure. So, so more um, filming studios, um, production houses, etc. cetera. Um, so you, you're able to train the people up so they're able to do the job and then they can go and get a job. I don't know if I'll live here my entire life because who can say, obviously Birmingham will always be home. In 20 years, it's hard to say, but I do think for me, the main thing in order for us to be progressive is to just listen to the city. What does the city want? What does the city need? And that means having active conversations, ongoing conversations with different types of people in the city, no matter where they are in class system, no matter where they are in race, 
disability, non-disability, just we have to have an ongoing conversation, listen to what the city needs and wants.